is there any royal grandchild as missed or would be as missed as Harry? So that's what the video will be about. So I hope you like the video. If you do like the video, please do like it. And if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. So there's quite a few, uh, and it's confusing actually, but there's quite a few grandchildren, great-grandchildren also. And so we're just going to look at the grandchildren, the children of the queen's children, as if you didn't know what a grandchild was. And uh, and uh, we'll see what the cards have to tell us. Will, um, is there any other grandchild that would be as missed as Harry? Okay, so the British royal family comprises the monarch Her Majesty, Queen Elizabeth II, and her close relations. Uh, there is no strict legal or formal definition of who is or is not a member of the royal family. The royal household has issued various and different lists uh, outlining who actually is a part of the royal family. The British royal family supports the monarch in undertaking, undertaking public engagements, charitable work, and of course interests. And the royal family are regarded as British cultural icons. The grandchildren are as follows. Okay, so, but the first in line, first of all, is the first in line to the throne is Prince Charles. He's number one. Now, his two kids, of course, are the Queen's grandkids. And so, number two in line, Prince William, first grandchild, and the Duke of Cambridge, uh, has he has also three kids, and they are number three, four, and five in succession. His brother, of course, Prince Harry, number six in line, the Duke of Sussex, and he has two kids, and they are seven and eight in line of succession, the or succession. The and then there's uh, Prince Andrew, who's number nine, and the, he's of course the Duke of York, and he has two kids. The first of which is the tenth in line of succession, whose own child then is number eleven, and then the Duke's other child, number twelve, and her kid is number thirteen. Now number fourteen is Prince Edward, and um, he, of course, is the Earl of Wessex, and his two kids are number 15 and 16 in line. Then, uh, finally, we have number 17 in line, Princess Anne, and then the Princess Royal and her two kids. They have no titles per their mother's request, but they are number 18, whose own two kids are number 19 and 20. And then Princess Anne's other child, number 21, whose three kids take spots 22, 23, and 24. So the question is, is uh, are there any other grandchildren that would be as missed as Harry? Are there any other grandchildren that would be as missed as Harry? It's said that she, uh, he's the queen's favorite. So, and I don't think that goes away. So, would any of the other grandkids, Queen Elizabeth's grandkids, be as missed uh, as Harry? Would any of the other of the queen's uh, grandchildren, not the great grands, the grandkids, the kids of her kids, as if we don't know what that means. But uh, would any of uh, the others be as missed as uh, Harry? Let's uh, meditate on that for a moment. Okay. Would any of the other grandkids be as missed as Harry? Would any of the others? Be as missed as Harry. So I'll take six cards. One, two, three, four, five, six. Would any of the others be as missed as Harry? They signifier, King of Coins, a lot of value. That's Harry. The um, challenge to that is the Ace of Swords, truth, justice, rules, rules, and law. He is the king of coins, and unless somebody shows up that can trump the king, uh, I'm going to say the answer is no already. But uh, even though he is so favored, so valuable to the queen, uh, 
the Ace of Swords regarding the monarchy is what uh, challenges that. The base of this reading is the, the Queen herself, the Queen of Wands, the Queen of Actions, Plans, Forward Movement. Past to this is strength. Okay, so that strength is in the past. It's waning. And I would say that's the, uh, the, the, for me, it's, it's the strength of the queen to maintain that uh, favoritism in light of everything that's going on, perhaps. Uh, the sky of this reading with this four of coins is holding on to your value, knowing when uh, has enough time has passed. Now, I've got to tell you, this looks to me like Queen Elizabeth herself in the face and really holding on to her value. She's got some uh, buried under her feet right here, one up in her hand, and uh, she's looking for an answer. The likely outcome of the first part of this is to whether anyone else, any other grandkids would be as, as valuable to her as Harry, and he is very valuable to her, uh, is the Hierophant, of course, the monarchy. That's what is more important than anything, the monarchy. So, so far, no, he's he's got the value. Any other of the grandkids as valuable to the queen as Harry? Let's see if these last four cards can shed light on that. They signify three of cups. Well, that's interesting because the three of cups uh, speaks to us of emotional celebrations, okay? So it looks like, but you know, you've got a group here. One hasn't been singled out. So there is emotional value for those other grandkids. It's in the environment of what? It's in the environment of the high priestess. And uh, this almost seems to me like the queen herself. But uh, high priestess, number two, the major arcana, all the knowledge, all the uh, strength and uh, uh, that she needs to uh, make these things happen. The hopes and the fears for that, with the secrets being revealed, yeah, that's a big player. And then the likely outcome of this whole thing is justice. So. Uh, there is some justice involved here. There is a weighing of, uh, of karma uh, back and forth, and that is the end um, um, most important card in this whole scenario. Are any of the other grandkids, as, would, would they be as missed as, as Harry? Well, he comes up as the king of value. The king of value. That's Harry. And he's challenged by what? He's challenged by the rules, okay? A big dose of the rules. It's, in, uh, it's all sitting on the queen herself. The queen of wands, the queen of actions. The queen's going to make something happen if it needs to or not happen if it doesn't need to. And in the past to that is strength, which is waning. In the sky of this, it's holding on to her value. Okay. Interesting that the queen came right into the middle of this reading. And then the, uh, well, I guess she was the main, one of the main subjects of the reading besides Harry. And then the uh, final uh, outcome for this, who's going to rule this, is the monarchy, the hierophant, the rules, the government. Not the government, but the monarchy, you know. That's uh, who rules this, this, these group, this group. Um, the, um, are any of the other grandkids as, as important? Look, they're celebratory. They're emotionally important. Um, but, you know, they're not standing singly alone. They're kind of as a group here. And they're in the environment of the high priestess, which to me is the queen again, with all the knowledge and the judgment and strength that she needs in this regard. Even though there may be a favorite, uh, she understands um, you know, her love actually for the others. But in the, the hopes of the fears of that is the secrets being revealed. And that's the situation here is that Harry is a, a, a warning or a, um, a caution about those secrets uh, being let out of the bag. And in the end, what's going to rule the whole thing as to her favoritism is justice, finding the karmic balance in the whole thing. So um, this has to be known. There aren't, aren't any of the grandkids who are as important to her as Harry, but that doesn't stand in the way of her decision making for the better of the monarchy and and equal as it can be, love for those other uh, grandkids. Well, that was pretty interesting. So I don't know if I agree with the cards even. So let me know what you think. Tell me what your ideas are, and let me know what you'd like me to read on. I'll be glad to put it on the list. Hey, I'm going to show you the cards now. So this is one of my favorite decks, Golden Tarot by Cat Black, who's an Australian uh, artist. And this is uh, all digital here. Um, I love this box. I mean, look how special it is. And, and it's easy to get the stuff out and use it. I mean, it's like a little uh, presentation. There's no fumbling at all. So, except when I use it. Now, the booklet is pretty good, too. It's, Cat Black has written this, it seems like, and so there's a good explanation in the front as to her concept for the artwork, which is amazing. It's usually, it's about from the 12 to the 1500s, which she uses in here, which is like cut and paste digital artwork. And then in the back, it talks about her, and uh, she's a webmaster, an author, an artist, and she also, she actually lives in uh, Western Australia uh, with her cat, 
Ellie, by the way. So, and I love uh, my uh, tarot reader, Ellie uh, Dreams Down Under. So she'd be tickled to know this, I think. Uh, so anyway, let's look at the cards. Um, my other favorite uh, uh, reader, uh, Violetta, uses these cards exclusively. They're the only cards she'll use. So... There you go. They're beautiful, though. And they're not hard to handle. They're a little slicky, and when they're new, they're very gilded on the edge, and then as you use them, of course, that starts wearing off, which is sad. But um, but they're beautiful. They're easy to read. They're right or right uh, iconography, and you can figure out what the card means without any uh, problem whatsoever. And I actually read that Cat Black, the artist, uh, got her first tarot cards when she was 15. So, you know, she's someone who designed it uh, with, uh, you know, practical knowledge uh, at hand, not just commissioned to do the art, I think. So anyway, I love these. I hope this is interesting for some of you uh, to look at the different cards when I do this. And uh, it's a good way to mix them up. And uh, so there we go. We'll get this uh, game going here. Hey, I'm Mark. It's been my journey through tarot. I'm going to do it all again tomorrow if you want to come. So ciao for now. really make a big difference. Thank you.